summer solstice. So, <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Oh, so for those of us in the northern hemisphere, today is midsummer. I love the next three the th next three festivals. Oh, make my heart sing. Starting with midsummer. Well, May Day I love, but it's not quite as warm as I like it. So, Midsummer is phenomenal. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining live. Thank you for watching the recording. So, Midsummer. What is it about Midsummer that makes my heart sing? So, for those of you in the summer, in the southern hemisphere, happy Yule. How exciting for you guys that you guys are in now in a big transition in midwinter. Um, so, happy Yule. Uh, to all of you guys. Um, so this morning, ah, uh, my kids and I woke up and the, my son, he like instinctively knows that the festival equals crafts. So when we wake up, when he woke up this morning, he's like, we need to make a craft today. Um, so we just kind of started toying around and we made summer solstice crowns. So these are our I feel like such the summer solstice queen right now. Um, it's a little itchy though. So today I wanted to talk about summer solstice and magical creatures or the magical beings, the fairy folk, gnomes, elves, and why that's actually really important to us as uh, adults and as women and as mothers. So. A big part of my learning about the seasonal festivals actually um, came from Waldorf's education or Rudolf Steiner and he is a big proponent of the spiritual realm and in the spiritual realm he talks about the magical beings of the spiritual realm and as we know summer solstice so if you are on live just say hi say hello let me hear from you um what are your plans for summer solstice type them in the chat i would love to hear from you so um summer solstice if you've ever heard of midsummer's night's dream um that is all about the veil opening and the magical creatures on this night have a portal, so to say. So today, hey Lonies, um, today, this day is very magical. What is it that you long to create today? And I find that it is so vital to acknowledge the magical beings, not just today, but always and um, in all ways, because they help us tap into something higher than ourselves. And they also help us stay very childlike. You cannot dance around in a fairy ring with the fairies and be mysterious mom who has to do everything and get things done. Right? Who wants to be that mom all the time anyway? I get it, we've got to get things done. But the fairy folk and the magical beings of the realm can actually help us not be so serious. Whether we truly believe that they're there or not, just, just having the playfulness of imagination that it's possible, or just, the, you know, making a fairy house, whether we want to create the magic for our children or we believe that there's actually fairies and magical beings around us. Um, one of the magical mamas in this group is actually, um, has a touch of her own magic and can actually see the magical beings in this realm, which is very awesome. Um, so it's very cool. So whether you believe or not, to believe or not to believe is not the question, but rather letting ourselves step into the playfulness. And I think that's really what Midsummer and uh, May Day and Summer are all about. Stepping into the playfulness. 
seeing how easy and joyful and playful life truly can be if we allow that. So, believing and acknowledging and discovering and playing, these are all very childlike qualities. And when we have childlike qualities, we actually are more open to receive. We are more abundant. We are more aligned with our spirit. So there is a big connection with midsummer, magical beings, childlike behavior, and us actually stepping into our own most magical selves. Children are like super magical until we kind of ruin them. Not on purpose. <laughs> We make them, we make them obey and we make them do all of these things to fit into a culture and to fit into a society. And in a sense, we kind of make them lose their own individual magic because of that. So today is a beautiful reminder and a beautiful stepping stone to really step into and breathe into how can we allow ourselves to be our most magical selves today? How can you step out of the box and just be and play and imagine? What does that look like for you? So um, when we created the um, magical, when, we cr when I created the Creating Your Magical Life Sisterhood, I had no idea that eventually, I did not plan it, you know, to eventually lay on Midsummer. So tonight, on Midsummer's night, um, we get to come together and actually create another dimension, another layer of our magical life tonight. Um, with the help of the fairy folk, with the help of the new moon of really like planting our seeds in the darkness of the soil. So really exciting, exciting day today for me. And I hope that if this uh, sounds like something that you're interested in, that you will um, join us tonight in the Creating Your Magical Life Sisterhood. You can go to MagicalMothering.com to do that. We would love to have you there. And if anything, just set an intention with the new moon tonight to maybe plant a seed of, of being a little bit more playful. Hey, Denise, so glad you could join. Um, what does your summer solstice, what does you being playful look like? What does it feel like? What environment are you in? Can you be anywhere? And I would say, yes, you can be anywhere. And really start gravitating towards being playful no matter where you are. Stop letting your outer circumstances dictate who you choose to be. Um, so... What what's your guys's plans for today? What what are your what does the sun energize you? Does the sun deplete you? Um, those are all parts of our personality as well. So the sun is very energizing to me. I love oh I feel alive and I feel so wonderful. So um, do you guys get the same way? Are you guys really energized? Hey, Krista, um, talking about magical beings. So uh, yes, so. It's so vital to connect back within, especially on today where the magic is so powerful today. The sun is so powerful today. Our own magic is so alive and on fire today. And be careful because it can burn you out if you're not doing it from a place of childlike innocence. Morning! I know your favorite! I know! Ah! I thought of you when I typed in the title, Krista. Um, so, if we allow ourselves to truly step into a place of purity, of innocence, of wonder, and not this, not this judgment, mindset, um, analyzing, ugh, we don't want that today. Kick that 
out of here today for one day let yourself be let yourself see what's possible is there a way to tap in for just a moment and really feel the magic to look around to be in wonder and to feel the magic so that is what I wanted to give that is what I wanted to share with you um, please 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 if you're if you're um, if you're watching the mornings either live or the recordings I would love to hear what kind of topics you would like to um, talk about share what's going on in your heart um, share what's going on in your mind and um, let us connect deeper let us go deeper so um, yes make something silly wear wear something ridiculous today be a kid dress up um, I'm wearing I should stand up and I'm wearing this amazing dress just because I want to and because it's so summer solstice today um, so yes just uh, how how I would love to hear what you are going to do to play so in the comments um, share pictures in the Facebook group if you do something fun for summer solstice throw some pictures up in the Facebook group start a post I love it yay I know don't you love it it's my favorite I've been waiting it's like it's too cold to wear in the fall on some days but it seemed like the perfect summer solstice dress um, uh, <laughs> right thank you Krista I'm here to amuse you and dispel you and put you in playfulness today. Uh, Meredith, good morning to you. Good, uh, good evening to you. Right? It's your, it's your evening. So, uh, good evening, Meredith. So happy solstice to you on the other side of the pond. Right? As they say. So, play, be silly. We don't need to be so darn serious all the time. Don't we have enough seriousness going on everywhere else? Let everybody else be serious today. Um, let's just let go. Let go. Let go of everything that you think you have to do, be, say, act, create. And just let that magical wonder bubble up and see where it takes you. So thank you so much for being here this morning. And um, I'm really looking forward to hopefully hearing and seeing some of your guys' awesome days in the Facebook group. Please feel free if you have photos or a share about how magical your day was. Please put it in a separate post. Post it up there. Let us all know what's going on in your life. What's... Um, what you can create today if life doesn't feel so magical and you're going oh why does everything have to be about magic le, le, le. Um, throw that up there and maybe we can we can help encourage you or at least give send you some hugs send you some love let you know that this this tribe is more than just about um, perfection more than just about the perfect life this is not the perfect life. It's a magical life. And in a magical life, there's struggle. There's lessons being learned. There's, there's transformation. There's, there's a deep heart-wrenching um, pull that is being done. So magic, in my mind, does not equate perfection at all. Magic is being in a space to see and to wonder and to to be what we truly desire, not in perfection, but in a growing, evolving space. So, um, hope that helps. And uh, share, share, share. If you're not feeling magical, share that and we'll send you some hugs, we'll send you some love. Know that this is your space. This is your space to breathe, breathe out whatever needs to be breathed into your life. Um, so that you can breathe in the goodness, so you can set the intentions, especially with this magical new moon on summer solstice, be in that space. So the new moon is actually not until Saturday, but the energy is here, the energy is coming, we're going to do it all tonight. So blessings, blessings, blessings to each and every one of you amazing magical women, and I thank you.
you for being here with me. Have a wonderful, playful day filled with childlike wonder.